Hello and welcome to this video on 3D shapes. Now 2D shapes are shapes which are flat. It might be that I kind of draw on this piece of paper and that would be 2D, it's flat. In 3D space we can move in three different directions. So we can move on the paper in this direction and this paper, that would be 2D. But the third dimension is allowing us to kind of extend going out of the paper as well. And everything we see in the real world is in three dimensions because we can move in three different directions. Now there are two different types of 3D shapes. We've got polyhedron, which is like the 3D version of a polygon. And just like a polygon meant a 2D shape with straight edges, a polyhedron is a 3D shape with flat faces and straight edges. Now the face of a 3D shape, by the way, if I say drew this is a cube, a face is one of the surfaces of the 3D shape. And remember that an edge was one of the lines, and remember that a vertex meant one of the corners of the 3D shape. And we've also got kind of curved solids as well, non-polyhedron. Well, let's consider the polyhedron first. Well, one obvious shape we have is a cube. So a cube looks like this. And you might think, well, what is the definition of a cube? It's just it has six square faces. That is the definition of a cube. So that's kind of like the 3D version of a square. The 3D version of a rectangle is a cuboid. So it's a cuboid. And the definition of a cuboid is it has six rectangular faces. And let's think of some of the curved solids as well, where we've got um, a sphere. A sphere is basically the 3D version of a circle, like our Earth example is a sphere. And I'm not going to write the definition, but I'll just explain. The definition of a sphere is that any point on the surface of the sphere is the same distance from some particular centre. So the centre of the Earth, every point on the surface of the Earth is the same distance from the centre. That's the definition of a sphere. Just like the definition of a circle is that any point on the circle is the same distance from the centre of the circle. Now we've got some types of shapes which could either be polyhedron or curved. So we've got prisms. And basically, a prism is when we have some generic 2D shape and we kind of extend it into 3D. So you may have seen, for example, Play-Doh, and you can sort of force the Play-Doh through some particular holes. So we have a sequence of different shapes which we can force this kind of gooey Play-Doh through, and it might be you force it through a star, and it comes out like a sort of tube where wherever you chop it, you see that star shape. And we call that shape that you see the cross section. So the cross section means wherever you chop the prism, you will see that same shape, the same cross section. Now a cuboid is a type of prism because wherever you chop the cuboid, you will see a rectangle. And actually a cube is also um, a prism. Wherever you chop a cube, you will see a square. But we could have other prisms as well. So for example, we've forced the Play-Doh through like a triangle shape. This is known as a triangular prism. And there's also a special name for one of the curved prisms. If, for example, the shape that we're forcing the Play-Doh through is a circle, we'd end up with a shape looking like this. And that is known as a cylinder. So a cylinder is just a prism where the cross section is a circle. Now there's one other category of 3D shape you need to know, and it's known as a pyramid. So you might have seen the pyramids in Egypt, even if not in real life. And basically, the definition of a pyramid, you have some base of the pyramid. Let's just say that the base is a hexagon. And then all of the vertices, all the corners of the shape, join up at some single point at the top. This is known as the apex, the top of the pyramid. And this at the bottom here is known as the base of the pyramid. Now pyramids could be curved or they could be polyhedron. So a pyramid that would be a polyhedron, for example, would have a square base. So if we had a square base pyramid, that's known as a square base pyramid because it has a square base, obviously. And if you have a triangular base pyramid like this, it actually has a special name and it's known as a tetrahedron. Tetra means four, so it is a polyhedron with four faces. And finally, there's one curved pyramid. You could have a circular base like this, and that is known as a cone. 
So a cone is basically a circular-based pyramid, but we don't call it that. We call it a cone. And that is all the main shapes you need to know. Now, do you remember that we had uh, regular polygons? So we had, for example, a regular hexagon, and all the angles had to be the same, and all the lengths had to be the same. So these marks, remember, mean that all those lengths are the same length, and those marks on the angles mean all those angles are the same. So that would be a regular hexagon. So you might wonder if there's a kind of 3D version. Can you have a regular polyhedron? And the answer is yes, and they're known as the platonic solids. You don't need to know this, but it's interesting to know the platonic solids. And they're basically the 3D versions of regular polygons. Now, one of them is a cube because, well, look, all the faces are the same. You have this kind of like symmetry about it. You could also have a regular tetrahedron. So this is a regular tetrahedron because all the faces are equilateral triangles. And that is also a platonic solid because we have all the same faces and all the lengths are the same as well. We could also put eight triangles together. So if you imagine putting two square base pyramids together, so we've got a bottom point here, it's hard to draw. That is known as an octahedron. And we can see that all the faces are equilateral triangles again. And there's more complicated ones which are almost impossible for me to draw. We can put 12 pentagons together, and that would be known as a dodecahedron. You may remember from the previous video in 2D shapes, a dodeca meant 12. So we have 12 faces, and they're all pentagons. And there's one final shape which consists of 20 triangles kind of put together, and again, it's going to be hugely hard to draw. This is just approximation, etc. And that is known as an icosahedron. We saw in the previous video where we had an icosagon, that was a 20 sided polygon. Icosa means 20. It has and because it's 20 faces, and they're all equilateral triangles. And you may have seen a show called The Crystal Maze, which recently had a bit of a comeback. And the big crystal dome at the end is actually an icosahedron.